So thank you for coming. Uh, this, this talk I will give a story about uh, DRBL and uh, Chrome DR. So we are from the, the uh, yeah, the DRBL and Chrome DR team, of course. Okay, so uh, um, these two projects actually are, um, are many developed in NCSC. Uh, NCSC is National Center for High Performance Computing. It's next to this campus, just uh, maybe five minutes walking distance. And uh, I, I will give a, a few background, then I will tell the whole story, and I prepare more than uh, 100 uh, photos, not slides, okay? Just 100 photos to t tell you uh, the, the history, okay? So uh, NCSG was founded in 1991, and uh, you know, basically there are three branches in Sinchu here, and Taichung and Tainan, and we provide uh, the core facilities for the research, research institute and uh, uh, universities and uh, government and uh, some, some of the uh, industries. So we have uh, computing resource, storage, and, high and uh, networking, okay. So, uh, we also, for, for the uh, free software, open source, and open data, we provide some of the, the mirror sites, for example, uh, for Debian, for Ubuntu, for Fedora, something, uh, open to the free or C5 files, something like that. And also, uh, NCSC is one of the source for mirror sites, and uh, OSDN mirror site is open source, Distributing network, I think. Yeah, I forgot the full name. And uh, uh, also, it's, uh, we, we also run uh, open stream map uh, mirror site cache server actually. So I can give you some of the. Hold on. Yeah, that, that's the. If you. Go to the, the NCH website and uh, free, free software labs, and uh, you can check the mirror site. We have some of the mirror, mirror service here. Okay, of course, Debian is one of them. Okay, and uh, as I mentioned, SourceForge. Okay, uh, we are one of the mirror site and uh, OSDN. Yeah, you can see one. Yeah, NCHC, and also for the OpenStreetMap, the open data for the geo data, and you can see that uh, the site in Sinchu actually is serves for the, uh, I think, uh, I remember it's about 21 country or, or, yeah, 21 countries in Asia, okay? And this one, uh, this server is right, yeah, we, we, we are just right in the NCAC building. Not very far, okay? So I back to my slides. And I mentioned two projects, right? The first one is D DRBO. It, it, the full name, we, we gave it in the beginning. We should have a better name, but you know, it's used and <laughs> more than uh, five years later and we think oh, it's grow, it, it grew up and we should give a, a better name, but we, we try to change the name, but still it's not easy, so we keep the full name. DRBL, disk list, remote boot in Linux. Basically, you, you can, from the service, you, you understand it's just one server and the provider, you know, the, the uh, OS service for the disk list client. So, with the networking and you can have a think line, but actually, the, the think line I mentioned is for you to run the full application in local computing resource, okay? Or you can use the DRBL system in the, a cluster computing or computer classroom. Oh, basically, it, it, it let you use easy, e, uh, easily to set up the, the disk this environment in Linux environment. And uh, another project I mentioned is Chromedia. Chromedia is a partition and disk image uh, utility. It's something like a Norton Ghost or Trum image. So, yeah, it can uh, use for, for Linux, Mac OS, Windows, BSD, and uh, something like a uh, firmware ESS, something like that. And you can use uh, Chromedia for the uh, single machine backup recovery, or you can use that for the massive de deployment. For massive deployment, I mentioned it's for a computer classroom, cluster, and also for, you, you, can, you can see that there are many uh, uh, USB flash drive. Okay, so you can also use 
use Cronia to, to do this kind of massive deployment. And uh, we are lots of developers, okay? And uh, it support, uh, I think, uh, five, uh, 14 languages now, okay? You are very, very welcome to, to help us to translate the language, okay? And, uh, okay, that, that's the background. So, uh, so far, any questions about uh, the background, about the NCH, about these two projects? And before I start, the stories. No? Okay, so I'll start the stories. It's back to uh, 2001. It's uh, more than 17 years ago. And uh, we, I show you some of the slides. In the beginning, uh, actually, we, we set up the first build world uh, cluster. You, you can tell that LIH, the C monitor is still CRT, and then we use the, the standard <laughs> PC to set up this kind of uh, PC cluster. That's the f first prototype for the cluster in NCAC. Okay, and later we got some more budget. So we, you know, it's, a, it's, it's on the rack. So it's much better than the one you saw on the, on, on the desktop, okay? And we set up the, the machine like this, and that's before, and uh, when it's finished, it was finished, it's like something like this. But uh, the problem is, after run, we ran, we, we test this machine, and actually we provide some of the friendly, friendly user to use this piece cluster. But uh, I remember after about one year, we have a problem with the hard drive. It's a, it's a I think it, more than, more than 40 or something hard drive uh, back, back sectors. We, we saw a lot of back sectors. And uh, you, you know it's a problem to replace. We, we have to, sh for cluster application, you know, maybe one node stop, then the application will all stop because they use an MPI or, or, or PPM, something like that, to, to distribute uh, the computing. So uh, we have to wait for another hard drive and we have to set up configuration to install the operating system and configure the hard uh, applications, then, you know, it, it, it took maybe a few hours to maybe one to two days to make one machine to back. So we think maybe it's a bit, we had to uh, had a better solution for this. So at that time, we saw some document about the disk list environment. So, okay, we set up the disk list environment for that machine. And Replace one by one. In the beginning, it, it was not only, it was not 40 hard drives suddenly uh, fail. Maybe just one and two, and uh, later, it, gradually, we took, used the system to replace, the disk system to replace the, to fix this issue, okay? And later, I remember we have more than 30 or some, or 40 machines, actually, it's, it, they are, they were running in this risk environment. So, okay, so we got experience about the disk risk environment. Okay, so I, that, that's all, some more photos. At that time, I, 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 we didn't take uh, some more photos about uh, the environment, but just the hard, 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 hardware. And you can tell this machine is really expensive. You can see a marinade at that time, is, it was very expensive networking system. Okay, that, that's the machine. And uh, later, we, uh, the environment was ready and we moved to the machine room, the whole system. Okay, so you can tell now, now the, the machine are actually in the machine room. Okay, but still it's a hard issue. So we use friends to, you know, to call the system. Okay, that, that's about the, the photos about the, cluster in the machine room. Okay, so in the beginning, we have some experience about the, the, the disk system. And back to, hold on. Okay, here. Back to 2002, at that time, uh, BSA. Anyone from Microsoft here? <laughs> no, no, oh uh, yes. So, so you are familiar with BSA, right? <laughs> At that time, uh, BSA in 2002, yeah. And BSA, uh, there are some of the, you know, if I can, can, I think I can connect. 
Uh, anyway, BSA have some of the advertisement, and uh, to a lot of time, it, it tell people that you, you, you build a company or you use the uh, pilot software. Okay, if you, you know, you are the which so uh, I forgot the term <laughs> in English, trace out and okay. And uh, if you uh, tell the police, okay, your company use the the pilot software, you might get uh, the highest uh, the num the highest the price price you got might be one million NT dollars. So uh, at that time, uh, the 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 Linux system of free software at that time. Uh, it was not so mature to use in the, you know, the, uh, the desktop environment. But uh, some of the people, they still think it's, it's a must. We need to have another solution. Not only one solution for the IT industry, especially the computing resource or the desktop environment. So uh, the problem, Parliament, the lawmaker in the parliament have some of the public hearing, and uh, we participate in the public hearing, and we, NCAC proposed we should have a national project to handle this kind of issue. We should have uh, some of the project to take care of the open source free software. We integrate, we uh, have something to ready for the, uh, for the desktop to use, and uh, then we have other options, so we don't have to be, you know, be locked by some of the vendors. So, uh, so we, we met the professor uh, C.K. Huang, I think he is not here. And uh, in, in the parliament, uh, and uh, Professor Huang introduced uh, Professor Mao, and Tony Mao, Mao, yeah, Professor Mao, he was, he was there, <laughs> he is there, okay. And uh, he, he told us that uh, he would like to, uh, you know, to, to teach the uh, software, the free software in the schools. But the problem is uh, the computing, computing classroom or, or a lot of time or uh, run Windows, Microsoft Windows system. And uh, he told us even he would like to have someone to install the software, free software, free operating system in that computer classroom. No computer teachers allow them to use because after that, the teachers have to repress or have to wait for the, 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 the team to replace the whole system back, to recover the, the system back to the original environment is, is, is a, is a, it was a risk. No one would like to take that kind of risk. So, and um, Professor Mao think uh, there's a LTSP system. So we should try LTSP system for the com computing classroom. Okay, so he, he had held a, a meeting to diagnose the LTSP system in Fuying, Fuying uh, uh, Junior High School. It was in Xinbei, right? It was in Taipei County. And uh, that's the first time we met Andrew Lee. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, right. I, I, had, I, I actually do not have a photo about that day. I should keep one, you know, <laughs> so I can only have the photo today <laughs> for the Fuying Guozhong. And uh, yeah, that's Andrew Lee and the Professor Mao's the homepage. Okay, that's on, only for the photo I have. And uh, later we, because we have uh, the, the experience, so we, I mean the disk experience, we tried the LTSP, but we think it's not a good solution for, for the computer classroom in, in Taiwan because the machine are uh, powerful enough. I mean the student machine are powerful enough, but we do not have the budget to have a super server for this kind, for us a LTSP system. You know, to run a LTSP system for 32 clients, you need a, a lot of time. The RAM, RAM size, the, uh, the CPU, it, it, it will spend a lot of money on that. So we tried the disk, this solution we use in the PC cluster. So uh, after a few days, I think, yeah, not too, we have uh, try, we have, we proposed, at that time, yeah, at that meeting we proposed to have the disk system by Etherboot and NFS and NICE. Uh, actually, Etherboot is, is similar to the PSC, but at that time, not all the machines have the uh, PSC uh, firmware, so we, we use the Etherboot. And uh, data in uh, 2000, 
Okay, in 2002 and in June 20, we finished the prototype. So we have one machine go to the uh, uh, Da Feng, Da Feng Primary School to, to teach the, to let Professor Mao have a, a teacher to teach. And I have some photo on that day. Okay. Okay. So that, that day we use that, that that server to to provide the the disk uh, desktop environment for those machines. I think it's twenty something or thirty machines. And that on that day, yeah. So people use this. It was running. I think I remember it was running on on Red Hat or, or Mandrake. I forgot. Yeah. But you can tell that. Uh, yeah. That on on that day. That, that's. And so, so later, uh, in, in uh, September, we, uh, we announced the, the DRBO system in uh, uh, Furen University. So um, to tell people that we have the system ready, then you can use this kind of style for, for the free software education, something like that. And and uh, in uh, 2002, in December 10, we had a hands-on class training course for the high school teachers. But uh, it was a nightmare <laughs> because we used the, the document. I can show you some of your doc document. I think that's the one. Yeah, And the document is, hold on. It's, uh, yeah, it was for Red Hat, and uh, the document we give all the details. But you you understand that the, uh, the uh, junior high school teacher they cannot handle this kind of uh, document. We have to you know to teach step by step, and too many details we have to give. So I remember on that day after one uh, six o'clock or seven o'clock seven hours, and just one teacher finished. The desktop environment. <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was 30 something teachers, and just one finished all the steps. And uh, the machine he, he uh, prepared, he installed, can be as a, a dictionary server. For the rest, they, are, they were frustrated. It was a nightmare for us. So later, we think it's not a good solution to tell people the document, you read the document. And you 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 install the system. So okay, we gave up we gave up this time. So we we later we yeah turn the, the document into the 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 uh, script the the software. So uh, yeah, in two thousand and three, yeah we have the uh, before that actually we. Gradually developed the system. It's one now already just within one or two months. We gradually develop. Okay. Then later in uh, 2003, that's another story for 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 the the second project, Cronia project. At that time in 2003 in uh, March, we have a, a new uh, hardware in our in NCSC's computer classroom, and. At, before uh, we have Cronia project, uh, that computer classroom user Norton Ghost version six to deploy the system. But the new hardware, Norton Ghost cannot handle the new hardware. So it was, uh, you know, our, our, our computing classroom administrator, he had to propose to buy the new, new software, a lot of you know, paperwork he had to do. So, and we, we think, okay, we can run a disk server. Why not? We can just copy, just clone the system for, for that computer classroom. So we try to do that. So um, that, that's how we have uh, uh, the idea we have for the Cronia project. So uh, in the beginning, we used, the, I, I remember it's a Slackware system. And we used the, uh, the part, part image project to, to develop the, the Cronia project. And uh, in uh, March, we have uh, uh, we incorporate the the Cronia project into the DRBO. So in the beginning, we developed actually the server system to deploy 
to, for the massive deployment for the computer classroom. It, it, was, not, it was not only for the one machine. It, in the beginning, we, we have the, the, the project for the, the uh, massive deployment. So uh, in, yeah, in 2004, we, we have a new name. Because uh, uh, we, we, in the beginning, we just call it OCS, Open Source Cloning System. It, it, it's not a, a good name, so we, we, we use a, another name, Cronia, in 2004. So I should have some of photos about that ages. All right, let me, uh, where is, okay. So, yeah. Um, I skip some of the photos. Okay, in 2003, we also uh, prepared a system yeah, for, for in the primary school for te to teach the software about it, the free software. So that, that's all about the DRBL system. And uh, we also, uh, hold on. During that age, we you know, have some of the talks, and uh, some, for example, these talks, oh uh, no, just uh, some of the slides, hold on. Some of the talks, oh, we have invited some of the people here. Is Enrico here? No? Oh, he's not here. <laughs> I met him, yeah. So in 2003, right? I think, yeah. We, we also have some of the uh, promotion about an open source project not only our, our project, but also for the other open source free software. Okay, or oh, Richardson, I should say free software, not on open source. Okay, so yeah, a lot of time, uh, in 2006, I remember we have also another, and that's the first time we, I, we met uh, Jidani. Come on, <laughs> he, he was here. Just go. okay, and never mind. All right. I, some of the photos, and uh, also we also uh, went to uh, Indonesia. You know, at that time there was a big tsunami in 2006. I remember, and uh, we used the the, uh, the similar technology to help to build uh, yeah. That, that's the about the tsunami. It's nothing to do with the open uh, colonial or, or, or the area, but because of the tsunami, we we help. We went to uh, RJ and for to help to build in the e-learning system, uh, e-learning center, e-learning center. So you can see that uh, RJ e-learning center there. Okay. Come on, fine. All right. So then. So these photos are about the uh, system we use. At NCAC, come on. The photo is okay. Yeah, very, very good. But on this machine is, is strange. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that, that's about the disk system we use in NCAC. Actually, it, our our, name, our administrator used the 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 DRBS actually Chromia Server Edition to deploy the system from 2003 until now. The system is still running there. Okay. And uh, the the, uh, the first time we participated to in for the free software conference, we was in uh, in France, and uh, George he is not here. Yeah, this morning he was here, and he invited us to to give a, a talk about the DRBL system. So that's how we start uh, to participate in the the. The free software conference, international free software conference. Yeah, that's about. And later, we have a press conference about uh, these two projects, about DRB and Kongya. Okay, that was for my boss request. So we, <laughs> we had a lot. Okay, so you can tell that it was in, in in Da Feng Primary School again. Yeah, and uh, we show the system and show the solution yeah, for the press conference. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's, let's, let's about then. Okay, uh, back to the here itinerary and. Uh, okay, from uh, 2000, 2007, we, we started to, as I mentioned, we uh, developed uh, the colony of, in the beginning it was only for the server edition. So when people have to uh, make a, a backup or to deploy the system, he need a, a server to do this kind of thing. But most of people, they, 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 most of the time, maybe they just need to back up one machine. And they don't, they don't want to have a server for this kind of uh, simple things. So uh, a lot of time, the live system, Debian live, 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 uh, a live package was mature. So, so we use the live package to, to make a, DR, a colonial live. So thank you to Daniel. Yeah, yeah, that's the first time I met you. I meet you here, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, you are two help us a lot. So we started to, to pack Cronia as a Cronia life. So uh, they, then this, this uh, small distribution turned out to, to be successful, you know, because people, they, they, now they, they can only use a USB flash drive or a, a CD to disrupt, to, to, uh, to back up, to, re, to recover the, the whole system. And so we, in 2007, we uh, also because of the the, the liberal software uh, liberal software organization in France, and they introduced that they told us that there's a, a contest that we can participate. So we we went uh, we participated black like contest, and I will show you some of the photos. Yeah, that's about the contest. It was in. Swasong in, in, in France, I think, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we, we, pro we, we show the system, we uh, present the, the whole system, and we, we won the, the first prize in the public sector software, yeah. So, And in 2009, we, this team, we, uh, we got a, <laughs> this photo, I, I always <laughs> love it by ourselves. But we got a, the national prize from the, uh, the premier, yeah. Prime Minister, okay, you can say that, Prime Minister, yeah. Yeah, okay. That, that's the, the prize we have. It's a national prize. And then, yeah, in 2010, then, uh, hold on. All right, we, 2010 we got the, the project of the month. The colonial pro project was cho chosen as the project of the month on SourceForge. Okay, I, I, I do not, yeah, I should, I should find some photos as well, but I, 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 I didn't put that. And uh, in 2011, yeah, we have a, you know, that's the previous Debian leader, right? Yeah, he came to Taiwan and gave, gave some talk, I remember. And uh, Eric, he, Eric, where is Eric? <laughs> okay, all right, and we were there, yeah. So, and, and In 2012, then we, and there's a, Jap a company in Japan. Hold on, let me. They, actually they use Cronia, they actually they modify, they, they improve Cronia, and uh, they put this software in their software, in their product and they call it a Minico Linux. The company is Minico Linux. I, I, I remember the name for their solution. It's a Minico Linux Savior, System Savior, I think. Yeah, so, so we have a, they have a, a press conference for their new product. So they invite us to join their, their press conference. And uh, 
at the same time, we they also invite us to the the open open source conference in Japan. Yeah, it's always in Japan. So we have the the booth there. Yeah, you can tell that. Yeah. So that that's about that's how we start uh, to cooperate with the the mineral Linux. It's because uh, the mineral Linux they they really modify a lot, and uh, they gave us a source code and we we revise and we we uh, yeah. Accept the page and uh, later, Chromia can handle a, a lot, uh, a lot of different. I mean, the hardware, I mean, the the full page, uh, multi-page, multi-page for the, the the hard drive, something like that. So uh, it's because of Minocore Linux. Otherwise, before we can only handle the disk name like a uh, device SDA, SDB, HDA, HDB, something like that. But later, the the page provides something like for this kind of a device, CCISS, something like this kind of a uh, pace for the, the, the hard drive. And also they provide some of the diagnose, diagnostic information because they, 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 it's, it's a product, so they have to collect a lot of information. If the, the, if the users uh, complain or something, they can get the, the information so they can diagnose, they can fix the path. So they, they contribute a lot towards our project. Okay. And uh, okay, we start, as I mentioned, we went to some of the open source conference, free software conference, like uh, the one in Linux Tech in, uh, hold on. In Germany, yes. Okay. And, And uh, this one is another one. In 2016, uh, 2016 yes. Uh, there's a user in, uh, near uh, Seattle in Washington State, in the United States. They told us that uh, because they need, them, we provide a solution for the, disk, uh, the server edition, but it's too complicated. Because we have DRBO Live. You can use DRBO Live for the uh, server edition, and we have currently a live for the single machine backup and recovery. But he told us it's too complicated to their users. Can you just merge them to one 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 distribution, just called DRBO Live? With DRBO Live, we can back up one system, and we can also use to deploy the whole system. I I I, I told them that it's just use DRBO Live. You can do that for the same thing. But he told that, told us that currently Live is lighter and is easier to use, blah, blah, something like that. Okay, so they, he per persuaded us. So we, we, we have a, a conference near, near his school. So we went to his lab, then we discussed for one whole day. Then later we, okay, we got an idea how to implement. So, so later we, when we back to Taiwan, we, I, I remember we spent about maybe two or three months to develop this kind of system. So uh, later we have a, a, a light server, Cronia light server. With light server, it's easier for people to use. Just with a Cronia live, you can use one machine backup and, and recovery. But with the light server, you can reuse the, the DHCP service in the, maybe in the, in the LAN or in the computer classroom or in the uh, uh, cluster environment. And, uh, with that one, you can use a multi case or, or uh, uh, BitTorrent uh, de system deployment. Okay, so uh, we, we finished that one. And uh, now it's easier for you people to use the kind of a solution. With Cronia Live, you can have one machine backup. And you can also, you can do de massive deployment for a uh, disk, massive disk in one computer. And all, or you can use a Cronia light server to uh, distribute, to do the system deployment for massive computers, massive client. Okay, so that's the photos and uh, I still have five minutes. So let me check, I still have photos. Okay, so, so a lot of time we, we think that's about the time we have 
to need to have a, a, a article about this one. So we have a journal article about the, the solution for the massive deployment. And uh, it's open access. So you, know, you can just download these, these articles about the whole uh, background and for the, de the details about the, this project, Cronia project. Okay. We, yeah. So, yeah, that's, I, I just mentioned, okay, the live server and the, our, the journal paper. So I, I, I think I finished most of the photos. Let me check if I still have some. No? Okay. I think that's about all. I, 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 keep, I keep some of the time to answer some of the questions. So if you have questions, uh, hold on. So if you have questions, please ask now. And or you have a question later, we have a booth outside, then we can chat, discuss more. So any questions? Yeah, please. You need a microphone. They are recording. <laughs> Do, does Clonezilla have a plan to distribute it to another uh, hardware architectures like ARM or? Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's a very good question. Actually, we, uh, we already implement uh, the ARM 64. That, that's much easier for us because, uh, hold on, let me. Actually, we have some of the testing one here, but I, put, I, just, I just put on my, 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 my site, yeah. ARM64 is ready, and uh, we test on, on the virtual machine environment, it, it was okay. But uh, there are not too many ARM64 server, <laughs> so yeah, that's the problem. But ARM32 is a little bit much more complicated for us because I remember uh, Debian actually dropped the support for ARM34 from Nine or ten, right? Anyone? Anyone here can answer my question? Yeah? Not yet, not yet. Not yet, but maybe, yeah, I remember. That, uh, because it was complicated for the bootloader. Because, you know, for ARM34, the, the bootloader is. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to handle that. Our team, we do not have too much time to. to, to. Otherwise, actually, we, we need this one because that I, I, I can tell you another story. I'm not sure you are familiar with the only, uh, only, only network sw switch system. That's the one. It's because uh, some of the, because Cornea can handle the, the cluster, right? But uh, a professor in, uh, uh, in uh, Chicago, uh, Northwest, uh, yeah, Northwest University, uh, Professor Chen, he told us that, because he's in the uh, network center, network center so, so he told us that, okay, Cornea can handle, can deploy, deploy the, the whole rig system, but only for the computing nodes. What he needs is to deploy the whole system, including, include the, the rack computing node and the, the switch. So he can, you know, to swap the system very quickly because he needs the, the environment to do some of the test. So uh, we actually, that, that in the beginning, we tried ARM32 because that some of the only switch is ARM32. I, th I remember uh, Cumulus, I, uh, I forgot which one is, it, it's uh, the, the silver support, right? Anyone from, no, not here. Okay, it, because this kind, this kind of uh, switch actually is running a Linux system. So 
it turned out to be a very good solution. I mean, if we want to deploy the, the network switch, we can use this one. Only switch is uh, uh, support, is, is actually a standard by Facebook. It's, the project is open computing, open computer project. Open computer project, OCP, yeah. So uh, that's why we start to, to try ARM64. And uh, ARM64 is ready, but we, we found out that, as I remember, there's no only switch. The CPU is ARM64, only 32. But and, uh, there are some of the X86. OK, so that's OK. Currently, I can handle that. But for ARM, not really. Not really. ARM64 is ready. Yeah. But we did an official release because we need more tests. So if you are interested, please contact us. And uh, if, if your goal is ARM64, then no problem. You can try and tell us it's working or not working there. OK. So any, any more questions? No? No? OK. Thank you very much. Thank you.